Welcome to another Visser podcast. Today I got something interesting for you gym goers. You know, since the beginning, uh, we've been training a certain way. And so today I'm going to change your mind on a couple of things based on the science. Okay, so the latest science, I'm talking about 20 plus different scientific articles that have compared this new way of training, which is lengthened partials okay compared to full range of motion and we've been taught i've been taught since the beginning of time full range of motion is king full range of motion is king do full range of motion well i'm not going to throw everything out but i would like you to incorporate a couple of things into your workout that have lengthened partials okay so what's the idea with the lengthened partial the idea with the lengthened partial is first of all that we take the muscle to full stretch Okay, and at full stretch, we want maximum load on the muscle. And I'm going to show you in a second, okay, what that means. And then we're going to do a partial from the full extension to halfway up or halfway the rep. So let's get started. Subscribe, ring the bell notification, share with friends. Let's grow this channel. I'm bringing you the latest and greatest. Let's go. Great. We're talking today about length and partials, and I'm going to have included the research that you need to look at if you want to look at further. And basically what was found in the research was that you get more gains, 10% to 30% more gains doing partial reps, but specifically lengthened partials. And lengthened partials, meaning you take that muscle to its full length to the full stretch of that muscle and from there starting an exercise that basically ensures two things one that at that lengthened stage so you're going to have to change your position and you're going to see how i change my position like in the biceps basically have the biggest load on that extension of the the muscle all right, so what happens then is the muscles have to fire more. Not only that, but you can go further. You can go closer to your max because if you're doing full reps, you're going to get tired and you're going to stop the full rep while there's still something left in the tank. And so you can do a couple of things. You can do partials, like I said, or you can do your full rep with these new exercises and in the end, include five more partials or 10 more partials when you're doing these. And I'm going to show you what they are, but I need you to know the basics of this. And the studies are conclusive. You get more gains than a full range of motion, but you're going to have to change the way you work out. Okay, so we're going to discuss that. Like, let's take, for instance, the bicep, okay, the bicep muscles. Now, if we're standing straight and we got our biceps like this, like we're doing with, you know, and you're going to see it with the regular, you know, dumbbell or barbell curls. This is not the extent, this is not the bicep being fully extended. The elbow is fully extended, but the bicep has insertions and origin, where the muscle origins and where the muscle inserts. Now, to get the full stretch, we need to kind of know the anatomy of the muscle, where it attaches, so we can, we can actually manipulate it to stretch completely. For the bicep, this means I got to go way back here. That's where my bicep is in full extension. So I'm extending the elbow, but I'm going way back here, both sides. That's where I'm getting my full extension. So I have to have exercises to start from there. Same thing with the triceps. We're used to doing triceps like pushdowns, right? This is not the extension of our tricep. Our tricep is extended when we actually bring it completely back and double it over. That's when we have the full extension. Starting the exercise from here, much more effective. So we're going to go through this. So I want you to focus on a couple of things. One is the load needs to be on the muscle when it's completely extended. Secondly, when you're doing this rep, it's a partial rep. So you're going from, let's say the triceps, you're going from extreme here, everything you can, it's fully stretched to about here. You're not extending it. You're going up about here. Go back down, go up to here. 
that's a partial. And those have shown to be way more effective than the traditional tricep pushdowns or bicep curls in the bicep case. And also with the shoulders. When we're doing the shoulder lateral raises, which everyone does, it's more effective if we can stretch that shoulder, especially when we're doing the medial delt. We can stretch it, have the most load in the stretched position, and from there, boom. So what's the stretch of the, of the medial delt? So this is your medial delt. Not from here. Usually we're doing it from here, going up. No. It's actually here. All the way here. This is where you're stretching your delt completely. So that's where you need to start from. So we're going to show this. We can go through the anatomy. I don't want to do that. You got, you know, you got three heads of the delt, bicep two heads, tricep three. We're just going to show you how to do this. I don't want to go through a whole anatomy lecture with you. I'm going to show you how to stretch. And you're going to feel it. When you do these exercises, you're going to feel it. So get your trainer or get your training buddy to incorporate these in the exercises that you're doing. So I'm going to show you today, and this is part one. So I'm going to show you what to incorporate in your bicep workout. I'm going to show you what to incorporate in your tricep workout. And I'm going to show you what to incorporate in your delt workout, your shoulder workout. Okay? And if you want more information, read the science behind it. It shows, really shows a 10% to 30% increase in hypertrophy, meaning in building size to the muscle. So for you guys out there, this is it. Okay, we need to incorporate this in our training. All right. Enjoy, we're going to the gym. Let's go. With the biceps, we're used to doing this exercise, right? Bicep curls. Now, problem here is this is not complete extension. I want you to go into complete extension of the biceps, both biceps. This is not it. And secondly, where is the maximum power or the maximum weight when I'm doing, when I'm doing this exercise? That is right here. So it's not at the extension of the muscle. So instead of this, okay, instead of this exercise, I want you to be doing this one. The length and partial that you have to be doing is this position. Like this, now my biceps are completely extended. Okay, so from here, I want you to go all the way here, halfway down halfway up down and the biggest pressure I'm getting is when my muscle is most extended so down here and then it gets lighter boom and I'm going half reps okay look at it that is your partial your length and partial. Okay, so for the biceps, incorporate this exercise. Okay, traditionally, we're doing triceps pull downs, right? Like this. What's the problem? This is not an extension of the tricep completely, and my biggest power position is right here, where I have the most weight in my triceps. It's the middle of the rep. Okay, so we don't want that. I wanna do, change this, This position, cables, and I want you to turn around, and this is gonna be your move, right here. Now, my triceps are completely extended, completely extended, okay? And they have the most pressure down low. So from here, up to here. Here, to here. That's gonna be your partial extensions. So on the extension, you have the most pull down. Your muscle is completely stretched. It has the most pressure. And from here, go up halfway. Go up halfway. Go up halfway. Incorporate this into your tricep workout. Okay. Shoulders. What are we used to doing? These. Problem is, they're not extended when they have the most power. This is the easiest. Up here, when they're completely contracted, that's when I have the most force down. I want that. 
right? Instead, do it this way. Go to cable, put it arm's length, all right? Grab the cable attachment, and the way you can do that is by putting your thumb, fingers over the thumb, right here, stand here, slightly bent, and here, now, see, this line is direct, is the most power. So I'm gonna come from here, up to here. Now you can do the full range, no problem. Then when you get tired, do the partials. One, two, and look at my arm. It goes beyond center, beyond center. With the, with the dumbbells, I was starting here, right? This is a complete stretch of the medial, what am I talking about? Kids are walking by. So this is the medial delt. So from here, complete stretch, up. Complete stretch, up, slow. Bring it down slow, slow in the concentric, okay? Boom. This is your lengthened partial. Incorporate this into your shoulder workout, and I'll see the difference.